So in this question, we are given this table that shows the percentage of candidates achieving each grade in their GCSE mathematics from 2007 to 2010. Now the percentages are rounded to the nearest whole number and we are asked to indicate all the true statements. So let's have a look at the first statement. This claims that the number of pupils who gained a U grade increased each year. So we need to look at this column here as this represents the U grade. Now be very careful, notice how the table says percentage of candidates achieving each grade. These are not numbers so we cannot simply just read to see whether this number gets higher or not. So what this means is that in 2007 6% of the 180 pupils got a grade U. So we need to do 0.06 multiplied by 180 to find 6% of 180 and that gives us 10.8. And now we do the same for 2008. We have 5% of 200. So we do 0.05 multiplied by 200. That gives us 10. So we can see that the number of people who's gained a U decreased because between 2007 and 2008 it decreased. So this means that statement A is false. Let's have a look at the second statement. So the number of pupils who gained a grade C increased each year. Well, we're going to have a look at this column here for the grade C and this column here for the total number of pupils. So in 2007, 23% got a grade C, so we need to do 0.23 multiplied by 180, and that gives us 41.4. In 2008, we're going to do 0.22 multiplied by 200, which gives us 44, so it has increased. In 2009, we're going to do 0.22 multiplied by 230, which gives us 50.6. Again, it's an increase. And finally, in 2010, we're going to do 0.2 multiplied by 270, and that gives us 54. We can see that the number of pupils who gained a grade C did in fact increase each year, so this means that this statement here is true. Finally, the last statement claims that the number of pupils who achieved a grade B in 2010 was double the number with the same grade in 2007. Well, let's have a look. We need to have a look at the column here for grade B. And again, we're going to look at the total number of pupils. So in 2007, we had that 15% of the 180 pupils got a grade B. And 0.15 multiplied by 180 gives us 27. So we know there were 27 people who got a grade B in 2007. Let's do the same for 2010. We can see here that 20% got a grade B in 2010. So we do 0.2 multiplied by 270, which gives us 54. And of course, 54 is double 27. So this statement is also true.